I was living in Laguna Beach and uh, the news, the headlines in the newspaper and the television programming was interrupted repeatedly with um, highlights from the O.J. Simpson trial and I was um, really concerned about the amount of violent uh, headlines and news that was bombarding my family and um, along with other producers who were documentary filmmakers we decided let's make a pilot for a TV show and celebrate heroes and make it interactive and invite the audience to participate. So we put together a pilot in 1994 and the networks loved it, but they said it's not commercially viable. And uh, we decided, a few of us decided it was important and we would do this anyway as a nonprofit venture. I think that a positive role model um, can be a child, it can be an adult, it can be someone who's overcome great obstacles with courage and great humanity. And I've learned so much from taking part in my hero of the many different ways that people can make a positive difference in the world. One of the heroes that we first discovered early on was a young poet named Maddie Stepanek and we were he was nominated by someone who was working with him as a hospice volunteer. He'd lost his brothers and sisters to the same disease he had and he'd started writing poetry when he was just three or four years old. And by the time he was five or six, he had hundreds of poems that he'd written. And he died at the age of 13, but his life touched people all over the world. I think people who come to my hero who have a sense, oh, there aren't any heroes, or, you know, I don't know what a hero is. And if they spend some time reading stories or looking at art or looking at the movies on my hero, I think it's really accessible for them to start looking around in their own community, in their own world, and then they're invited to participate. So we give them a place to thank their neighbor or their parent or their teacher or their superhero and publish their work and share it with our global audience.